Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of our Business Central extension that allows you to schedule MRP to run in the background. If you have a large amount of items and you run MRP in Business Central, it could take minutes and sometimes hours for MRP to finish. We have customers that have hundreds of thousands of items where MRP takes anywhere from four to six hours to complete. They use this tool to schedule it to run at night. So they, they set up the tool. It will run at 1 a.m. in the morning. It will finish at 3, 4 a.m. So when the planners comes in, uh, in in the morning, they will have a fresh list of suggestions to work from. You install the extension via App Source. Once you've done that, you go to the Calculate Plan Configurations. This is the main table where you set up how, how you would like MRP to run. You create a code and related to the code, you have the configurations. So in this case here, we have an A, B and C code. For A, we say that uh, we would like this to include MPS and MRP. The starting date formula is zero days, meaning that the, when MRP runs, the starting date would be today. The ending date formula is for two months, meaning that the end date will be two months from today. The stop and show first error, use the forecast, exclude forecast before formula, and respect planning parameters for exceptions. Those are the other options you have when you manually run MRP. So, so basically, the options you have when you manually run MRP, it's added into this setup table here. We have an item view where you can define a filter on the items. So in this first A here, we're saying this uh, is for all items with item category or, uh, that's furniture related. The second one here is for all production items. And the third is for all purchase items that are not furniture uh, related. Then in the end here, we have uh, a, a reference to the worksheet. So here you define the planning worksheet where the result should end up in. So the first one will go to the Mike worksheet, the second to the Sarah, and the third to the Steve worksheet. Once you set up these codes with the configurations, you can schedule this through the job queue. So if I close the screen, I go to the job queue entries. The way you schedule it is that you put this code unit in. This is a run, calculate, plan configuration code unit. In the parameter string, you put in the code that you defined in the setup table. So A, this will run the A configuration. This is a filter, so you can do A and B if you want this job queue entry to run both of them. If you leave it blank like this, it will run them all in the order they are listed in the table. So I have A. I recommend that you set up a job queue category for MRP, especially if you want multiple job queue entries to run the different configurations. We'll put them all in the same category will ensure that they're not running at the same time. So they will run one at a time. And then we set this up. In this case here, we have uh, it to run once a day and it starts at 1 a.m. This is basically it. So this will then run every day. It will uh, generate the suggestions and put those into those different planning worksheets. One of the nice thing with the job queue is that you can go to the log entries here and you can see uh, how long it takes. So you can, you get the uh, transaction that shows OMRP oh, ran yesterday and it took two hours or three hours. You, you can go into the logs and see how long it took. In addition, we added some nice to have features to the planning worksheet. We have the set accept action message and remove accept action message. So with this, you can select multiple suggestions. 
you say set accept action message and it will check them all and you can remove them all we also have a setup in the manufacturing setup table that when you activate it it will not check the boxes by default that's one of the most requested change to mrp actually that that when it runs in standard business central the application checks the messages that are not warnings or exceptions uh, and the planner then kind of have to uncheck it if they don't want to act on it so with this change it would be all unchecked like this and the planner just checks the ones that they want to act on we also added a stock keeping unit planning fact box here so in standard business central you have a fact box that shows the information from the item card most of our customers they use stock keeping units we always recommend stock keeping units if you do some kind of mrp and you have multiple locations so with this fact box you can see how the stock keeping units have been configured in the in the screen here we also added a small supply and demand fact box that shows the supply and it told us the supply and it shows the demand and it told us the demand and then it shows the difference so, so this is independent of any date fields and these are just flow fields from the item record so you can click on them to drill into the data those are kind of a couple of small enhancements that we added to this uh, but the main feature of this extension is to be able to schedule MRP to run in the background via the job queue. You find it in AppSource, you go to AppSource, you search for schedule MRP, you find it, or you search for Naviona. Let us know if there's any questions. Thank you for watching.